morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, acne, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your medication or help a loved one get off their meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you have a success story you'd like to share, we especially love hearing those. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. You can also head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, which we update regularly with blog posts as well as news stories. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and Jonty Collier for setting those up. Also, you can head over to brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com. We have uh, all the Brightside episodes at uh, both those websites, and you can search for particular topics or particular shows that you may have missed. benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for that one, and brightsideben.com. And then, of course, if you're interested in taking a look at our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, made with the highest amount of retinol you're going to find. You will flake, you will peel, and your skin will look great, especially if you follow it up with our Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Retinol Gel are all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. I want to continue talking about DHEA. Love this stuff. It is not, it is not something to just take without, without thought, thought, thoughtlessly. It's not like pregnenolone where you have a large window of safety. You're not going to hurt yourself really with DHEA, but you can break out and maybe a hair loss sometimes in men occurs. So you want to stick, uh, stay to what we call physiologic doses, which is like 10 or 20 milligrams. I know people sometimes take 50 milligrams. You can actually get 50 milligram capsules. At least you used to be able to get 50 milligram capsules of DHEA. DHEA as an over-the-counter uh, dietary supplement hasn't really been out all that long, about 20 years or so. Last time we spoke, we were addressing Deshay, the whole legal ramifications of Deshay, the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, which uh, was signed by Congress in 1994. Before then, you couldn't get DHEA. After that, after that, uh, after Deshea went into effect, DHEA became available. Deshea is responsible in large part for all the health food stores and vitamin uh, vitamin suppliers on the internet and and multi level companies, direct marketing companies like Longevity. Are, um, are well, they, there might have been a Longevity, but it wouldn't have been as big and it wouldn't have been as popular if we couldn't get the dietary supplements that we get that we've got. Obviously, so Deshea had a huge role to play in in uh, how readily available nutritional supplementation nutritional supplements are today. Deshea was defined. Uh, Deshea defined the term dietary supplement, it defined it as a product that was intended to supplement the diet that has a vitamin, a mineral, one or more of the following compounds, a vitamin, a mineral, an herb, or botanical, an amino acid, and also Deshea uh, uh, defined nutritional supplements as foods. 
as long as they didn't alter the structure or function of the human body or make claims they were considered a food. And this was a radical departure from um, all the other regulations. Previously, you couldn't get a lot of stuff over the counter after Deshay, melatonin, GABA, um, uh, what else? Uh, DHEA, obviously, pregnenolone, these all became somewhat mainstream. Now, I started to hear about DHEA back in the, in the mid-90s, right around the time Deshea came out. I remember when Deshea came out, right before Deshea, there were all these petitions being signed, and the public was, there was a huge public outcry. And that's when I kind of caught my attention as a pharmacist. I'd been working with DHEA earlier. I didn't really know how powerful this stuff was. But then I started to work with it. And, man, that stuff is amazing. DHEA is amazing. Also, about 1995, the medical, the medical folks, they weren't so happy about DHEA. And they were warning people not to take it. And it was a hormone. It could cause cancer and baldness and acne. Actually, you can lose your hair, as I say, a little bit. Uh, you could thin your hair. And it can make you break out. But it's certainly not as toxic as, as the mainstream medical model was claiming it was. Unfortunately, a lot of people got scared away from DHEA. And to this day, you can't really get DHEA at Whole Foods. Uh, or at a lot of vitamin stores because people are so scared of the, uh, the mainstream medical models propaganda war against these kinds of substances has convinced Whole Foods and, a, and some health food stores not to carry DHEA. Still, you, thank God for the internet. You can still get it on the internet. And you can get it in, in certain health food stores. And, and um, you can get it in chiropractor's office and health, alternative health care practitioners sometimes will carry it. Anyway, DHEA is just amazing stuff, especially for sexuality, for male sexual performance, and for muscle building. There's so much literature on this stuff, and it's dirt cheap. You can get a, a month's supply of DHEA for 15, 20 bucks. Back then, you could get 100 pills for $10, I remember. I was buying the bulk powder DHEA for $50 a pound. And except for the acne and the thinning hair, which occasionally occurred if you took too much of it, the stuff was pretty much non-toxic. By the 2000s, by the late 90s, by the 2000s or so, uh, nobody was getting liver cancer. Nobody was getting prostate cancer. There was so much positive research that was starting to accumulate. Right around 2000, doctors started to use this stuff. There were all these alternative-minded alternative, alternative -minded physicians who were recommending DHEA, who were selling DHEA. It became part of natural hormone replacement therapy. Today, if you're using testosterone cream or estrogen cream, your doctor will write for DHEA in the cream. Alcoholics were shown to have low levels of DHEA. Older folks, as I said yesterday, were shown to have low levels of DHEA. Sick people were shown to have low levels of DHEA. DHEA was shown to upregulate pain relieving compounds, so called endorphins. And DHEA, and this was the pre Viagra days, remember, there was no Viagra for, for guys, and erectile dysfunction was a big problem. There were no real remedies. You had to have an, an injection, actually. That was the only way you could deal with uh, erectile dysfunction. And what really got DHEA credibility is what it did for male sexual performance and libido. Now, it's certainly not like Viagra, it's not a drug, but it can have some pretty significant effects. If you're dealing with ED and you're an older guy, by older I mean over 40, which isn't older, but relatively older, and you're starting to notice some, DHEA, some erectile dysfunction issues, you may want to think about 10 to 20 milligrams of DHEA. DHEA is the quintessential anti-stress hormone. It does so many different things, but they all really have to do with calming the body down, making the body more powerful and less jittery. In a famous paper published in the uh, Journal of Biochemical Pharmacology in April of 2000, researchers showed that DHEA is a powerful anti-stress hormone, particularly when it comes to balancing the effects of cortisol. Cortisol, or stress hormone, obviously is a, well, it's important, but as you know, if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, it could be a problem too. As we get older, our cortisol levels go up. Cortisol is anti-building, anti-anabolic. Cortisol suppresses the immune system. Cortisol increases the breakdown of tissue. Cortisol makes you fat. Cortisol raises your blood sugar. In the short run, I, in the short run cortisol is important, but in the long run, it's a big problem. Anything you could do to balance out cortisol is going to be in your interest. And guess what? DHEA is awesome for helping balance out cortisol. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We will return right after this. Don't go away. Side Pharmacist Ben here. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. We have a full board. Uh, actually, we have an uh, empty board. Nobody's on the line, so now's your time to chime in. 
If you have questions about health, nutrition, or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have questions about skin health issues or skin health challenges or formulations, we can help you there as well. And, of course, if you want to comment or have a success story, 844-236-6010 is our number. We love hearing those. We love hearing success stories, and, uh, and comments are always welcome. If you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a specially long look at our Truth Retinol Gel made with 5% retinol. Great if you're dealing with acne or if you want an anti-aging product that features premium vitamin A in its most potent over-the-counter form, retinol along with vitamin C. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, perfumes, silicon. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Okay, so we're talking about DHEA in a landmark paper that was published uh, 19, in uh, April of 2000. Researchers showed that not only was DHEA a powerful anti-stress hormone, but it further showed, this paper, this is why this paper is so famous, it further showed that DHEA is wo a wonderful way to balance out excess cortisol, which is our stress hormone, but also our aging hormone, and also our messed up blood sugar hormone. The two reasons why blood sugar becomes elevated are number one, foods, most obviously, but number two, long-term chronic secretion of cortisol, stress hormone. If you're trying to lose weight but you can't, no matter how many, uh, uh, how, how little calories you're ingesting or how uh, much you're dieting or how much you're changing what you eat, or if you tried to lose weight and you lost a whole bunch of weight and now you're sort of plateauing, the chances are pretty good you're dealing with excess cortisol. This is one of the hidden effects of stress. It makes us gain weight. And I'm not just talking emotional stress or mental stress or, physio or, or a psychological stress. Yes, those are important. But physiologic stress, like from a disease state, physiologic stress from arthritis or autoimmune diseases, physiologic stress from long-term chronic degeneration of the body will make your sugar go up via cortisol. And DHEA is a great way to balance out cortisol. So is uh, uh, pregnenolone, by the way. This is why DHEA can be used for weight loss. One of the reasons why it can be used for weight loss, it helps balance out the pro-sugar effects of cortisol. Cortisol causes sugar release from the liver. This can make you fat. DHEA can help balance that out. If you try to lose weight and you've plateaued or you're trying to lose weight and, and you can't, no matter how much you're changing your diet around, DHEA may be something you want to think about. If you're trying to build muscle and you can't build muscle, or if you're just trying to build muscle, DHEA is something that you want to think about. And, and as we said earlier, for sexual performance, DHEA is something that you want to think about. DHEA is mostly an adrenal hormone, but it's also made in the brain. It's a brain hormone, too, like pregnenolone. And it's more potent than pregnenolone. Something you want to think about if you're dealing with uh, a Parkinson's disease or, or uh, if you know somebody or if you're dealing with Alzheimer's disease or you just want to keep your memory or you want to keep your, your brain working well into your uh, 80s or 90s, you might want to consider 10 milligrams of DHEA. And in the skin, DHEA is also made in skin cells. This stuff's amazing. Made in the adrenal glands, made in the brain, made in the skin. It's important for helping keep skin healthy. It's got anti-wrinkle properties. If you're dealing with adrenal fatigue, that's a whole other thing. We haven't really talked too much about adrenal fatigue. The adrenal glands are two little pieces of tissue that sit on top of the kidneys. Add renal on top of the kidneys. Renal means kidney. And the adrenal glands control the stress response. Most of you guys know that. They also control uh, not just the stress response, but the uh, circulatory response. They're your antihypertensive or your hypertensive glands along with the kidneys. This is the main place where blood pressure is regulated at the adrenal levels and at the kidney levels. And working on the adrenal glands can be a very important strategy for dealing with uh, hypertension, not to mention dealing with uh, excess secretion of cortisol. If you're gaining weight and you don't know why, or you can't lose the weight, or you feel dizzy when you stand up, if you crave salt, if you can't fall asleep even though you're tired, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't go back to sleep, all of these are signs that you may be dealing with what alternative practitioners in these days, what mainstream practitioners as well, call adrenal fatigue. And millions of people are. The adrenal glands are our stress response glands. And there's a major connection between the adrenal glands and the thyroid, by the way. So 
Over the long term, as we're running on what I call coffee energy or adrenal energy or stress energy, that's the jittery kind of energy that you get when you drink coffee, the jittery kind of energy that you get when you haven't had enough sleep, the jittery kind of energy that you get when you're under stress or when you're freaked out, that's called I call it coffee energy, but that's adrenal gland energy. When your body's running on this adrenal gland energy for a long time, eventually the thyroid will s slow down. This is one of the major causes of hypothyroidism, which is an epidemic, and this is why the adrenal, what I call the adrenal thyroid axis, that is the connection between the adrenal glands and the thyroid, is your third point and your jumping off point on the triangle of disease. The triangle of disease is basically a, a bottom point, a bottom pole or a bottom axis. Think of it like a line, just a bottom line where one point is the digestive system, the second point is the blood sugar system. And then you go to a, the top of the triangle and you get your what I call the adrenal thyroid axis. From there, all chronic degenerative diseases ensue. This triangle is underneath all chronic degenerative diseases. Now, we always talk about the uh, digestive system. We always talk about the blood sugar system, but we don't talk about the adrenal glands anywhere near as much. And, but rest assured, if you are dealing with a chronic long-term health challenge, you are running on adrenal energy. You're burning out your adrenal glands. And you can tell for sure if you're craving salt or if you wake up in the middle of the night and can't fall asleep or if you have insomnia or if you have postural hypotension, that's when you feel dizzy, when you stand up, or your blood pressure drops when you stand up, or, 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 uh, or uh, get up out of a, a lying down position, you get up out of bed in the morning, or if you're exercising and you feel dizzy. And of course, weight gain is also a adrenal gland issue. One of the problems with, the, with running on this adrenal energy or this coffee energy occurs for women when they go through menopause. Hot flashes are a classic sign that your adrenal glands are being fried out. All the menopausal symptoms are like a checklist of adrenal health issues. The insomnia, the mood changes, the skin problems, the oily skin, and the acne. Oh, well, by the way, one of the, one of the major manifestations of adrenal gland activity or, or hyperactivity is oily skin and acne. Cortisol makes you oily. Stress hormone will make you oily. Anyway, if you're dealing with menopausal issues, what's happening is, or the unpleasant issues associated with menopause, what's happening is as your ovaries, as a woman's ovaries, make less female hormone, the adrenal glands are supposed to pick up the slack. This is one of the hidden uh, or, or poorly recognized roles that the adrenal glands play. We always talk about the adrenals for stress, but what doesn't really get addressed is the adrenal glands also make the youth and fertility hormones. They make the PPD hormones. Now, under ordinary circumstances for women, when, when she's uh, pre-menopausal, she's making her female hormones in the ovaries. But as menopause and perimenopause approach, more and more of these hormones are made in the adrenal glands. And guess what? If your adrenal glands are off making cortisol, they're not going to be making these hormones. This is where all the side effects or many of the side effects of menopause come into play. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thank you for joining us, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. And you can also check out our blog at criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And if you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, you want to go to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Vitamin C Dense Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang tight if you're on hold. I want to just uh, read a couple of these stories real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a phone call real quick, I think, and then we'll go. I got a neat story that I read yesterday from the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology about acne, and uh, we'll get to that here in a second. Let's go to Steve in Pennsylvania. Welcome to the Bright Side, Steve. What's up, buddy? Hi, Ben. Uh, ben, can you uh, possibly address about the DHEA? I read somewhere that uh, that uh, favorably extends uh, one's life. Uh, I mm. thought it was either 20 uh, years or 20% well, longer uh, longevity. 
Well, but I don't know about the, the I don't know about the numbers there, but it's definitely a pro longevity substance. It's secreted in abundance when we're young, and then uh, its levels drop off precipitously after the age of thirty. Uh, and then uh, shows you what nature thinks of people after the age of thirty. By the way, <laughs> we're, we're somewhat expendable apparently. Uh, our DHEA, DHEA levels drop at the age of thirty. Uh, older folks are well known for having very very low levels of DHEA, and DHEA has been shown to extend longevity in uh, in laboratory animals, um, I can't tell you if 20 years, 20%, but it's a pro-longevity substance. It calms the body down. It makes it more resilient. It improves its, the immune system. It's anti-inflammatory. Pretty much everything good that you can think of, just like cortisol, everything bad you can think of, DHA, what, what everything good you can think of. It's not that simple, though. I, I don't mean to be simplistic. I'm sorry. The, is that the adrenal gland that produces yeah. the uh, DHA? Yes. Well, wow. it's produced in a lot of different places, but yes, the adrenal glands are the main source of production. Mm-hmm. Uh, another question, uh, what are the best uh, nutrition-rich foods and uh, concentrated supplements to strengthen the adrenals and thyroid, in your opinion? Uh, and, anything and that has zinc in it. Is, zinc and vitamin C are the two most important adrenal nutrients, and then the B vitamins. Zinc, vitamin C, and the B vitamins probably the three most important. So living foods, uh, sprouts, vegetables, eggs. Um, anything that's rich in vitamin C, kiwis, uh, a p- a papaya, citrus, cantaloupe, those are all uh, peppers, red peppers particularly. These are all good vitamin C sources. Uh, oysters, Rocky Mountain oysters, if you know what those are, and then also even regular oysters. These are high zinc foods, very important. Keeping your sugar down is probably the most important thing for your adrenal glands. Remember, the triangle of disease implies that adrenal problems are subsequent to, are followed by, a breakdown, a dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and a breakdown in the digestive system. So number one, stabilizing the blood sugar is important. And then number two, making sure any inflammation that's coming into the blood through the digestive system is controlled or mitigated or eliminated. And that means uh, if you have leaky gut, you want to eliminate that. Uh, stop eating foods that cause problems, digestive problems. Of course, easier said than done, but wean yourself off those foods. And then using digestive support supplements, particularly probiotics, good bacteria, fermented vegetables, and vegetable juices. Steve, I'm going to motivate. i got a couple calls I want to get to. Thank you. I appreciate your call very much. Have a beautiful weekend. Okay, Robin in Oklahoma. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, Robin? Um, I just tuned in a little late, but you were talking about the adrenal fatigue. Yes. Um, I had a medical doctor tell me there was no such thing, and I never went back. because No I such better. thing as what? Adrenal fatigue. Well, he's a bonehead. Can well, you get him on the radio someday? She's a bonehead. <laughs> yeah, she's a bonehead. Yeah. I'd love to talk to her. Yeah, well, uh, waste of breath. Anyway, uh, okay. I, know, I know I have adrenal fatigue, and everything you mentioned, the sleeplessness, especially at night. Um, yeah. I'm dealing with the adrenal fatigue syndrome with supplements, and I'm also taking adrenal desiccated Am I wasting my money? Yeah, the desiccated, I've never, ever seen anybody get benefits from that stuff. Uh, but there's nutrients you could do. Are you doing uh, vitamin B12 shots for one no, thing? No, I'm doing the sublingual B12. Okay, I would do the shots. You might really? get some better results. Okay. But you're on the right track for sure. The B vitamins are really important. Keep them going throughout the day. This is where the Beyond Tangy Tangerine really excels, I, by the way. I, 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 sip, I probably do four scoops of Beyond Tangy Good deal. Tangerine every day. Good deal. Um, okay, so, how about so, DHEA? Okay. Are you on any? I have the cream. It doesn't do any good if I don't use it, right? Take a capsule. A capsule. Get, yeah, take a 5 or 10 milligram capsule if you can. I don't think I've ever seen 5. Start off with 10. Don't take too much and see how you do. Melatonin to go to sleep if Melatonin you can do that. Melatonin has the opposite effect. Really? It, yeah, it, it actually keeps me awake. Okay, I have heard that. I've, I've heard that rarely, but I have heard that. Yeah, uh, uh, I've done everything I know to do. Actually, how about GABA? Uh, I did the GABA. Did that help? Yeah, I did. Um, well, uh, without going into great detail, I got addicted to a sleeping pill and destroyed my neurotransmitters. No, they come back. You didn't destroy well, anything. Yeah, they're back. Yeah, okay, good. They're back. It's just taking a long time to get them back. Okay, good. Well, let's keep you going here. Magnesium? Are you doing magnesium? Uh, the natural calm every day. How do you know all this stuff? You sound like you're right on top of things. How about I vitamin C? I, I, I make it a goal every day to learn something about the body and nutrition every good day. Good for you. Good. For, how long have you been listening to this show? A uh, long time. Okay, good. And you, how, you are a wealth of knowledge. 
I, I don't appreciate agree that. with everything you said. Oh, you don't? No. Okay, I want to get into that. That sounds interesting. No, no. I like it when people don't agree. It's but. so little that it's not even worth mentioning. Okay, all right. Uh, but I do, I, I think that you you have helped me on my road to recovery. I appreciate that. Thank and, you. And uh, if I could get some quality sleep, I think I would. Well, let's get you. Come on. We're going to help you out here. Vitamin C? Are you doing any vitamin C? Absolutely. How Absolutely. much protein are you doing? Um, I'm the one that called about the One World Way. Oh, you okay. called about the one more way. Okay, good. Mix uh, up your proteins a little bit. Mix okay. them up. Don't just get them from one source. I don't. If you're, I, do, I, I, I don't eat a lot of animal because I just, I'm just I, my body doesn't like it a lot. But I do a lot of avocado. No, that's um, a, that's not well, avocado's good, but that's not in the same nuts. league. When it, I do a lot of nuts. Yeah, you got to be careful with the nuts. But here, let me get, let me help you out some more. How about um, how about your blood sugar? Are you working on uh, that at all? Perfect. It's perfect. Perfect. Well, my according to the numbers, but. Are you gaining any weight? In, do you have any weight gain thing in the middle or no, anything? No. Nothing I, like that? I, no. I, blood pressure I, good? I'm sorry? Blood, blood pressure, pressure good? Perfect. And then tell me how old you are, just 56. about. 66? Mm-hmm. You sound great. So I, your I, only I, issue is you can't sleep I, at night? I, you, if I could sleep, I mean, I have issues with, uh, you know, degenerative disc disease in the lumbar, which... You know, another reason I, I, I'm, I'm thinking a steroid shot should be completely out of my reach. For well, here, one last thing I'm going to tell you, because it sounds like you're definitely doing all, all the right things. But one last thing that I would be thinking of, now that you mentioned that the, you have the degenerative disc issue, is uh, malabsorption of some kind. Mm-hmm. That's would be, And if that's occurring, not only will you not be getting nutrients, but toxins getting into the blood can, make, uh, can spark up this emergency response, this cortisol response. So if you have any digestive issues, those need to be corrected. You might want to consider intermittent fasting, caloric restriction, in addition that. to the I elimination do. diet. I, I, I do that. I did have a thermo- full-body thermography back in the, in the fall, and I had a very highly inflamed liver. That's all telling have, me digestion. There's some digestive stuff. I don't have a gallbladder. <laughs> oh, well, you didn't tell me that, Rob. Well, <laughs> That's no. important. That's yeah. med- major important because that means compromising. Uh, uh, that means there may be a compromise in your ability to, to uh, utilize essential fatty acids, vitamin A, which is majorly building and anti-stress, vitamin E, vitamin K, and it doesn't matter how much you take if you're not absorbing it. Uh, Robin, I'm gonna, I, I want you to, a couple more things I want to say, so hang on if you don't mind, and then uh, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Hang tight. If you're on hold, we'll get to you when we come back. You're listening to The Bright Side. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Robin in Oklahoma. Robin, uh, a couple things, last message I wanted to tell you. If you don't have a gallbladder, that could compromise your ability to process fats and fatty vitamins. Your fats and fatty vitamins are your long-term health management nutrients. They're involved with the thrival response. When you're not absorbing those things, that, that is absolutely a way the cortisol levels can go up. Yeah. Your, body can, your body can be under duress. Use bile salts if you're not already. I'd be doing with every meal. Lecithin with every meal. Digestive enzymes with every meal. Apple cider vinegar with all your meals. I'd be using probiotics like you know 80 billion units a day of a good probiotic supplement like the Nightly Essence, the Fucoid Z. Anything you can do to focus on digestive health and absolutely positively make sure you doing the elimination diet. The inflamed liver definitely could have something to do with your gallbladder. Uh, Without a gallbladder, your whole bile system is under major distress. And of course, bile is made in the liver. Hope that helps, Rob, and thank you so much for your call. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Okay, let's go to Joel in Minnesota. Welcome to the Bright Side, Joel. What's up? Hello. Hello. Um, I guess some of my questions would be, as you talk about the DHEA and the Pregnenolone. 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 Yes. Um, how, so, would you need to have both of those in your right? Uh, I wouldn't use both of them. I would start off with pregnenolone unless you're really, you know, you're really experiencing some severe uh, adrenal health issues or aging issues. Uh, you don't sound like you're. You sound like a, you're relatively young. How old are you, Joel? Uh, Thirty-five. Okay, so you're pretty young. You know, you, I would start off with pregnenolone. What are you trying to treat? What do you, tell me your symptoms. What are you trying to take care of? Um, I have had the adrenal fatigue. So the sleep you talk about, um, just in the middle of the day, like tiredness. Comes okay. Over are you, me, you're so. not sleeping well? Well, it has improved um, with just some other vitamins and nutrients. Like what? Tell me what you did to improve it. Um, my... Homeopathic gives me like 
standard process. Um, again, words like Zypan and... Um, Zypan, did you say? Yep, and Drenamin and... Okay. Okay, it sounds like you got a, somebody who knows what they're doing that's taking care of you. I like standard process. Um, but you're still having some issues? Is that the idea? Um, it has improved, and I just uh, had a baby four weeks ago. So okay. the last year here, maybe, or nine months, has been a little different than coming up to those um, nine months. But sleep now would be. Did you lose the weight? Um, yeah. Okay, here's what I would be doing if I were you. A couple of things. First of all, I would be focusing on mostly on, on more on progesterone than pregnenolone. Okay. Progesterone can help balance out some of that estrogen, some of the, the excess estrogen. Now, your estrogen's dropped, I'm sure, but, but sometimes your estrogen doesn't drop as fast. So you might want to use some progesterone. Estrogen, by the way, is a stress hormone. We haven't talked about that lately. But estrogen can definitely mess up the stress system, especially if you're not eliminating it appropriately. And by the way, I forgot about that with, uh, with Robin. If you're still listening, Robin, you may not be clearing estrogen if your digestive system is whacked out, and that will definitely cause health issues. So uh, anyway, Joelle, progesterone. And then uh, all your hormonal nutrients. Zinc, if you're not doing 50 milligrams a day of zinc, start. Zinc picolinate is the best way to get your zinc. It's just an all-time great remedy for a lot of things, but especially for hormonal issues. I don't want to say remedy, but nutritional supplement, especially for hormonal issues. So 50 milligrams a day of zinc. I'd be using B5, high doses of B5, maybe 1,000 milligrams of vitamin B5 a day. Take it with your all your B-complex with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Whenever you take one B-vitamin, you want to take all of them together. If you're not using essential fatty acids, you should definitely be on those. Nine of the ultimate EFAs a day. And if you notice any digestive issues when you take your EFAs, if you bloat or you feel gassy, that may be a sign that you're not absorbing your fats, in which case throw in some digestive enzymes with your meals along with apple cider vinegar. And by the way, it wouldn't hurt you just to do that anyway. Use apple cider vinegar and digestive enzymes. Don't forget your pro Probiotics. You hear how we're working on the digestive system. The Nightly Essence probiotics, vegetable juices, staying away from problem foods. And then uh, if you're not already, start working on your blood sugar system. Make sure you're keeping your blood sugar stable by eating more protein, restricting or eliminating or at least reducing your intake of, uh, of uh, starchy foods, sweet foods, breads, pastas, those kinds of things. Get on the sweeties. Uh, and uh, you may also want to throw in some ultimate niacin and then also some fucoid Z. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to tell you. Do you have any weight issues? Are you? Did you lose all the weight, or what's going on there? Um, yeah, no, I have. As most people say I don't even look like I had a baby four weeks ago. Okay, before, good. So that's yeah, good. that's a good thing. Um, that's a, my, but, so being like the anti-inflammatory diet, I mean, some of the grains I do would be like rice or quinoa. I wouldn't even mess with it. You know what? You don't need them. If you want them for the taste, that's one thing, but they're not doing you any good. You know, yeah. there's no real upside to it. And I'm not... You know, I know the taste is good. I like the taste, too. I can totally relate to that. But if you're dealing with issues, health issues that you want to resolve, that might be something that you want to work on. Yeah, it's just tough getting enough food. Protein. Get on the Keto FX. If you're, are you doing young, the Longevity products? I haven't yet. I'm new to this. Well, check out the Keto FX, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Keto FX. Joelle from Minnesota, I got to motivate here. Have a beautiful day, and uh, thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Stay in touch. Let us know how you're doing, okay? Thank you. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, let's go to Canada and welcome Tristan to The Bright Side. What's up, Tristan? How hey, you doing? Good morning, Ben. How's it going? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. I just had a question in regards to, like, I've noticed, like, lately I've been, um, I've always had an issue with phlegm, like excess phlegm in my lungs. Okay. Is there any way to How old are you, Tristan? I'm 24. Did you notice that you had this problem, like, when you were a kid, kind of? Yes, and, uh, you know, it, yeah, any time I got a cold, it'd go right to my lungs, and I'd always be on antibiotics, you know. So. Oh, no, okay. Did you have ear infections when you were a kid? No, no, no ear infections. Any skin issues, eczema or rashes or anything like that? Uh, acne. Okay. All right, here's what's, here's what's going on. Phlegm mucus, secretions in the respiratory tract and in the sinuses always should be first and foremost backtracked to food. 
especially if you're uh, if you're uh, had it your whole life, especially if you had it when you were a little kid. Uh, dairy can be a problem. Eggs can be a problem. Grains can be a problem. Processed foods can be a problem. Link it to food. Do a, a fast. Do a swear of cleanse if you can get the swear of in Canada. Do a swear of cleanse or a fast. Kind of hit the reset button and then start eating as normal, but focus on one food at a time and, and eat as much of that food as you can, starting with your favorite foods. Usually it's going to be dairy. That's the first thing is going to be dairy. So start off drinking a lot of milk if you're a milk drinker. Are you a milk drinker or, or ice cream or you know, any kind of no, dairy? Actually, that you... I don't consume any dairy anymore. Okay, good. How about grains? Grains, yes. Okay, so do some grains. Pick your favorite grains and spend all day eating them and see what happens. All right? Almost almost guaranteed it's going to be something that you really like and grains are a likely suspect. And then you eliminate that food and you do it again with another food and then you eliminate that food and eventually you'll get to a point where you find foods that you will trigger the, the, uh, the mucus and foods that won't. And you'll stick to the foods that won't, obviously. Then you also want to start working with your digestive health. Probiotics, the nightly essence, uh, vegetable juices, Fucoid Z, uh, digestive enzymes with all your meals. You, the stuff we talked about all day today, just work on your digestive health. Anything that gets into the blood inappropriately through a leaky gut can trigger this kind of respiratory response. So you want to patch up that leaky gut, A, by eliminating problem foods, and B, by also supporting digestive health with digestive supplements. That's where I'd be focusing if I were you, Tristan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good thing you're catching it when you're young too, because these kinds of things can tumble out of control if you if you let them go. So you want to catch you want to catch it uh, you want to catch it now. Does that help you? Yep, that helps. Okay, good deal. Where in Canada are you, Tristan? Uh, Toronto. Oh, did I meet you when I was up there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, well, hopefully I'll meet you when I'm up. I, I, thinking I'll be up there. There's a health show in October, and thinking I'll be up there. So maybe we'll see you there. Thanks for your call, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. All, right. all right, take care. All right. So that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I encourage you all to check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com and CriticalHealthNews.com. And if you're looking to start a business, if you want to make a little bit of money helping spread the word about nutrition and, and nutritional supplementation, we got a deal for you at Longevity for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a business. You can make some money selling Longevity products and help spread the word about how effective, how powerful, how important a good nutritional supplement, a good nutritional supplement program is. And of course, if you want to check out some super high-end skin health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Serum, all loaded, packed with vitamin C. Our Retinol 5% Gel also has, of course, 5% retinol, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, oils, silicones, or water in any of our Truth Skin Health products. That's truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.